Hey, welcome to the last episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Sean is joining me for the send-off episode. Thanks for coming over. I'm trying to get my own spin-off. <laughs> you should. <laughs> no. <laughs> I could never do it as well as you do for as well, you long never have as you time. Did. It took me two months of twisting your arm to get, come over to try this one. Uh, this is a pretty special beer. I got this in a trade with uh, Joe M. Spiller from Proper Hops TV. I, back in, what was it, March or February or April or some, sometime in the spring. But anyways, thanks Joe for the beer. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be a special one. This is the 2011 vintage of Bourbon County brand Coffee Stout. Stout oak, stout aged in bourbon barrels with coffee added, made with Intelligentsia coffee beans. 14% uh, ABV. Anyways, get in the glass and that is just like black. Just black, black, black. It, it had like kind of a Coca-Cola kind of head at first, but it, as you can see, it just fills it away really quickly. And it looks like we both have a glass of flat Coke. It does. You know? How about aroma? I'll tell you, the first... Smell the coffee. I definitely smell the coffee. Mm -hmm. I smell the coffee, and I can smell the, the alcohol to an extent. It smells, it has like a liqueur scent to it almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, kind of like a Kahlua or something. Yeah. Um, it's actually not that, I thought it would be a little bit more complex than the nose, but I mean, it's just, it, it smells like if you left like black coffee sitting out. Right. With a, with a. Like a, a shot of rum in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm really excited for this. All I'm right. Sure. So here we go to 700 reviews. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh yeah, and you know what? The surprisingly, this fourteen percent. Yeah. I mean, you can taste it. Yeah. But it's not overpowering. It's yeah. not like the only thing that you're tasting. There's definitely a liqueur type of taste to it. Um, but it's not. It's not really overpowering. It's got. It's. It's fairly yeah. well balanced for the amount of. Uh, for the amount of alcohol content versus. Uh, yeah. I think that this is the their the goose I, the base Goose Island Bourbon County Stout recipe, plus coffee plus, I mean the, the, the I think the the right the original is like nine or ten percent so I don't know where you're getting like this extra, you know three four percent ABV from, um, <clears throat> but that being said I mean it does taste like that super imperial, stout like a kind of like Russian imperial stout because I get. A lot of black licorice on this one. Right, right. I I get to be honest with you. I get a ton of the coffee, but it's not overly bitter. Like that typically bitter taste that you get with your coffee stouts. Yeah. It's it's yeah. It's it, like it's like an iced coffee. Right, right. It's um, licorice is good. Um, the sweet flavor to it definitely offsets any of the bitterness that, that I'm getting out of, out of, like, the coffee. Yeah, and there's a lot of the liqueur, like, Kahlua-type flavor on this. Almost like a vanilla, almost like chocolate syrup, like, like Hershey's chocolate syrup. Um, so it's kind of, like, bittersweet. It's not like, it's not like a milk chocolate where it's, like, tastes like candy or anything. There's, like, this interesting balance here of, like, that syrupy... Ch bitter chocolate, almost like extract or concentrate, and then at the same time you have like this super rich vanilla, almost like a rum or a Kahlua, something like that. The coffee's there. It's not overly pronounced. It's not overly. It's yeah. not overly bitter. There's a sweet flavor to it. Um, it's not overly carbonated. It's as, yeah. It's it has kind of a flat mouth feel. It's it's thinner than you'd think. I know. I was just about to say like as far as. Now I understand it's like fourteen percent alcohol. So drinkability wise, I mean, if you finish a bottle of this on your own, that's quite a bit. But yeah. as far as being fourteen percent, it's got a fairly drinkable yeah quality to it. I know we're drinking this on a hot night, and I'm act I was actually pretty thirsty, and that's why I said the first one I was like it really hits the spot because it. I mean, we're drinking it cold, so it does kind of quench my thirst for a minute. And you know, so what's really interesting is that. It's a surprisingly clean aftertaste. Oh yeah. Like it's not sticky and 
there, I mean, there's a certain stickiness to to the backside, I think, but that goes away pretty quick. I mean, it goes away really quick. Start to finish, it's fairly even. Yeah. Um, and the way that the coffee, the alcohol content itself, and just the the malts that they use come together, I I, I think it's quality. Yeah. Um. I mean, it's a it's an outstanding beer for sure. Um, I can name only a few that I like a little bit more than this one, but you know, this one is is pretty amazing. I can see why it's so rare and sought after. From this genre, you can think of <laughs> the coffee stout. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I I put Founders KBS and Firestone Walker Parabola above this one, but I mean, right. this one's still. I like this better than the regular Bourbon County, um, but I mean overall, for the same reasons you just said, like it's pretty much perfect in almost every way. Um, I mean, I might knock it down a point or two on appearance, you know, because no head, no lacing, um, and that there's still very over booziness in it. But and I think yeah. the booze kind of distracts a little from the actual genuine palate. Cause I prefer to concentrate more on the coffee and chocolate flavors rather than the, you know, the liqueur type flavors, right. but, you know, that all being said, I think it's, you know, a, 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 a virtually A plus beer, so I'll, I will give this a 10. I am not at all disappointed and I'm going to go with the same grade. I really think this is quality. This, I, I mean, I, I have absolutely no complaints with this whatsoever. I thought it was, I thought it was a very, um, yeah, fair. I, I just thought it was quality all the way through. Yeah, and... Thanks for helping me drink this. I mean, now that I'm drinking it, oh, I, by all means, I could, I could. <laughs> now that I'm drinking, I could see myself killing this whole bottle myself, no problem. But uh, never being uh, able to drive afterwards again. Yeah, I'm gonna I have to call in tomorrow from work. Anyways, we're going pretty long. So, thanks again to Joe from Proper Hops TV for the beer in the trade. Sorry, sure. I sat on it for so long, but we we're saving it for a special occasion. Uh, thanks to Sean Kramer for the last episode ever. Excellent. Thank you for all the times you've helped me out unwittingly yep. while I've been at the beer store determining whether or not I'm going to have a particular beer. I just take yep. a look at Chad's beer reviews and I'd be like, you know what? I think I'm going to go with this one. Yeah, and Chad's beer reviews will keep on trucking at chadsbeerreviews.com. I'm just going to do text reviews instead of doing video. So, and I'll still be on Facebook and Twitter forever. All those links are in the description box. So. Uh, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Thanks for coming over. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Thanks for watching. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.